Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Okay, in this video, I just want to give you a quick introduction to the SAS Studio interface um, in case you have never seen it before and aren't, aren't familiar with it. Um, and even if you don't have much SAS programming experience, I still think you'll be okay here. Um, we'll cover some basic uh, SAS programming techniques as we go along. Um, so when you open the SAS user, uh, excuse me, the SAS Studio interface, you'll notice uh, two panes, really. Um, the pane on the left is sort of your organizational uh, pane with your uh, file tree and, and those sorts of things. Um, you can always use this new button to create a, a SAS program uh, or import data if there's a data file that you want to uh, create. Um, so these are the two ones, two main options that we use here, create a new program or uh, import data. When you click import data, there's a data wizard that it'll take you through. Um, if you've ever imported data anywhere, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It'll open up your uh, file explorer on your local machine and um, you can go in and select the file that has the data that you want. So typically you'd have a CSV or something like that, right, that you import. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's also a delete um, and then we can do things like upload and download files and that sort of thing. We won't generally use any of these, um, but we'll use the new new program one quite a bit. Um, there are also some other um, options here in SAS Studio. Um, so there are ways to create tasks and utilities. Um, some of them are preloaded actually in, uh, in Studio. So it has um, all these uh, table attributes, characterized data, list data, that kind of stuff. Um, so some actions that are preloaded in tasks. And so if you want to play around with those, um, you can do that. I'll be teaching you how to do everything via code. Uh, but essentially what these do are wizards, and you, you open the wizard and point it to the data that you want to, to work with, and then it'll execute the, the task according to the parameters that you set. Um, so this can be handy if you want to play around with those. Um, and then there's just another, um, you know, you can create import data or SAS program. Again, you can also use uh, SQL type queries where we're joining or selecting cases, that sort of thing. Um, and you can do that in a point and click interface that's provided here. Uh, but again, everything we do will be, will be code based. Um, snippets is another way where you can just sort of save code. Um, so there are, um, you know, kind of like, if I just double click these, it gives you sort of template, code templates that you can use. Um, so those can be fun to, to play around with as well. Um, and then it, it'll show you your libraries, if you're familiar with libraries, and file shortcuts as well. Um, but really what we're going to be focusing on is just uh, programming up here. Um, so once we get into the, the programming interface, um, I just say data, hi, um, let's just say input, message, data lines, hi, uh, run. Right. And then I'll go ahead and run this. Um, you see that we get, uh, so we have our code tab here. We have our log. We got no errors, no warnings, three notes, uh, invalid data. Oh, okay, so I must have had my syntax wrong somewhere on the, uh, on the uh, data lines tab. That's okay. Um, but you get the idea here, right? So log gives you your typical SAS output, and then your output data message gives you your, your data set here. So I created this table in a work directory called hi, um, and the mess it has a variable message, um, which is missing values because I must have messed something up in my syntax, but not so bad that it didn't create the the uh, data set. Uh, but anyway, here you go. Um, you get the, if you had created multiple tables, you could select the table that you want to look at. Um, and then um, you could even select the columns that you want to see. If there were multiple columns in this data set, it would give you the columns you can select here. Um, and, and so we can, you'll see the whole data table in this preview pane here. Um, and then there are ways to, uh, you know, display the code or you can print it, refresh filter the data, um, so some, some simple data tasks that you can do there as well, okay? Um, so this interface is a little bit different than, you know, if you've programmed in, in uh, base SAS or an enterprise guide, um, or if you've written some, you know, custom code in something like uh, in some of the other SAS products, um, this interface is a little bit different, but has all of the same features that you would be looking for. Okay, um, so that'll do it with the introduction here. Make sure you're all set up and ready to go there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.
If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.